What's going on guys, Sheena from Rock About Sound. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you something that not a lot of producers know about, and that's using Double FM and Serum. Now, Double FM and Serum is a concept that very few producers actually know is even possible, so you're in luck. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how you can use this and actually apply it to your own music. This is a very powerful tool, and I highly encourage you guys to stick around for the full video so you can actually learn what to do with it and what it is, because it's so, so cool. Anyways, this is just an example of something that you can do with this technique. So obviously the sounds like the All Is Fair and Love and Bros Step Bass as well as Terror Squad, um, they all kind of did the same kind of thing here with the FM, but uh, most likely an FM8, not Serum, because FM8 allows you to use frequency modulation across what, like nine different oscillators, <laughs> it's insane. Anyways, let's go ahead and initialize this patch so I can show you guys what we're gonna be doing here. Anyways, the basis be behind uh, double FM here is we're gonna be using FM from either oscillator A or oscillator B. And from that signal, we are going to be running um, frequency modulation or FM from the sub oscillator. So that way we actually have access to two times FM, that's why I call it double FM here. So anyway, so we're gonna be running uh, all the frequency modulation from oscillator B and all the sound output is gonna be outputted through oscillator B here. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna turn on our FM from oscillator A, okay? Um, what I'm gonna do here as well is I'm going to turn down the level from oscillator A and the sub oscillator because it all is gonna be outputted through oscillator B here. As you can hear, it really is just a saw, our, oh, sorry. Our default waveform here is really just a saw waveform that is flipped and is at a 50% phase here. Um, not really too important information here, but it does kind of change the sound from a standard saw waveform like this. Anyways, um, let's turn up frequency modulation from oscillator A. As you can hear, we are intercepting these frequencies from oscillator A. Now, here's where the fun begins. We can go ahead and go into oscillator A and run frequency modulation from the sub oscillator. So, isn't that cool? We are receiving this sine waveform and that is actually completely manipulating oscillator A's waveform, which is being received by oscillator B. So, it's kind of just like the human centipede of frequency modulation. That's a really gross example, but it's the only thing I can kind of um, think of to give you, a, no, you don't want to have, have a visual image of that, okay. Uh, anyways, yeah, so going into actually making that bass that I had before, um, another cool thing about this is you can actually turn up the octaves and that will completely change the sound as well. Now, one thing I love to do when using frequency modulation with these um, uh, flipped, uh, saw waveforms at 50% phase here. I like to run square waveforms here because especially with the combination of the saw, square waveforms on FM with saw waveforms just sound really, really nice. They sound like a sync sound and there's just something about that tone with the harmonics that just really <laughs> sounds rich. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this on a square waveform. As you can hear, a lot of different things going on. Um, the best part about this is there's so many different parameters that you can now modulate. You can do FM from A. And FM from the sub. And now we can even turn up the octave. As you can hear, it's definitely already just offsetting the frequency when we turn up the octave. And now if we do it for octave A, You can already kind of hear that whole all is fair and love and bro step terror squad kind of style bass here. We're going to turn down this FM from the sub to about 39% here. Um, and then from FM from A, we can turn to like 60. Um, as we turn up the octave, you can hear all those different tones that are actually present in that track. So we actually aren't gonna be using a filter for this. We are just going to be modulating the level of oscillator B because all the sound is gonna be outputted through oscillator B here. And we just wanna create this shape. Um, 
you can make a little something something like that and as you can hear it does sound like it's missing a lot so what I like doing especially with the basic shapes here because basic shapes are perfect for running FM um, you know they they do not have a lot of information in the waveform themselves so there is a lot that you can actually do and ma to manipulate manipulate the sound here um, turning up the tube it really is bringing out these lower ends in the amplitude um, so it's making the sound sound a lot more powerful and if we do turn on the multiband compressor here it does kind of have the same effect here but we're actually canceling out um, even more of these lower end um, amplitudes and one thing you can even do here is turn on the lower band here because that isn't necessary the multiband is really just um, evening out these frequencies Finally, we could turn on a hyper and a dimension. Hyper, we don't really want that because take a listen. That sounds like ass. Uh, maybe just turn it up a little bit. Dimension, very low size, and then a high mix. And that's all it takes. You can modulate everything. It's all up to you guys. So if you guys like that sound, make sure you guys do me a favor by clicking that like button. I really hope that you guys learned something in this tutorial because this was a very dope sound. If you guys want to check out my last video, which was also an insane trap brass sound, it's perfect. You could use it for any style of you know dubstep or trap. It's just like the boom brass sound or horn, whatever you want to call it. Uh, use it in all of your tracks, okay? So that's gonna be right at the top here. Um, if you guys wanna click that, check that out. Anyways, I'm Shane from Rockbound Sound, and I will ch catch you guys, oh my gosh, I can't even speak today. I just almost said something else. Anyways, I'm Shane from Rockbound Sound, and I will catch you guys in the next video.